Hello everyone, welcome and thank you for joining. I am Veronique, the Customer Relations and Success Manager here at Snapic. As Julia mentioned, I will be going through the first masterclass with you and we will be discussing the new video FX features, how they work and how best you can use them. In today's masterclass, we'll be going over what's new in video FX, namely AI segmentation, multi-zoom, freeze frame, color isolate, color adjustment, frame adjustment, and color matrix. We'll be looking at a few templates to give you the examples and also show you how they work and how you can use them when creating a new template or adjusting a preset template. The templates we'll be looking at today will be the Character Reveal AI, the first one. Secondly, 360 AI Segmentation Showcase Template. Thirdly, Shrink Ray AI Segmentation with and without background. So there'll be two examples. And the fourth, template we'll be looking at is the thermal tater. In our discussion we will deep dive into each of the effects that are being used in a variety of different templates and how various new effects can be used to create new templates as well. Then we will lastly open up to a Q&A session where you can ask myself and the rest of the team any questions that you may have. In the first one we'll be looking at character reveal AI basic templates. The features included in this template are freeze frame, AI segmentation which allows you to separate the foreground from the background. In the foreground section you'll notice us mentioning the alpha stroke and pan and zoom features and in the background section you'll notice us mentioning the animated overlay feature and along with that lastly is the text overlay feature. So from an already created enterprise event I have already enabled video effects as an experience. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom where I'll be selecting the video templates that we will be going through today. So I'm going to select from template library and then click on the AI segmentation category here. The first one we'll be going through is the character reveal AI basic template. Then just to swiftly touch on the master settings here, just as a refresher and for those who do not know what is possible, you can change the template name here. Of course, this is on a preset template. When you are creating a new template, you have the opportunity to name your template something suitable. The resolutions can be chosen here. And the master overlay can be uploaded here. Keeping in mind that the master overlay would need to match the resolution chosen for your specific templates. The master overlay will be uploaded and then applied to the whole video, including the pre-roll and post-roll videos, unless you click the option here to exclude it from playing over the post-roll and pre-roll videos, so the uploaded intro and outro videos. And then moving on to the preview video. This video is the one that will be displayed to the guests when they are choosing a video experience on the iPad, iPhone or web if you are doing a virtual event. You can change this preview to showcase your customized template specific to your event by recording it with Snapic and then uploading it here. And then lastly, you can upload a soundtrack here. The soundtrack needs to be at least the length of the duration of your video but can be longer if needed and of course you have the option to play preview of the soundtrack while you are recording. Then the next tab I'm moving on to is the recordings tab. This is where you will be telling the app how many recordings to use and where these recordings will apply so you can have the app record multiple and each recording can be played at a specific part in your video timeline. For this specific preset template we have no countdown text but you can add that here. This text will display on the screen to the guest as it counts down on screen. We have it set at a recording duration of 4 seconds, meaning that the app will record for 4 seconds long. Then in the timeline section, in the video timeline, this is where we add our elements to tell the app recorded video what to do and at what point. So this is where the effects are applied and where you change the playback range, speed multiplier and add all of your effects. 
So in this specific preset template, we have only added three elements as you can see here. The first and the last elements are both app recorded videos. These two are very basic, playing back at 1x under the speed multiplier as you can see here which is normal speed and we have just set the first to play from 0 to 2 seconds and the last one will then play back from 2 to 4 seconds. Please note that we have set a recording volume to 0 however if you want to have the sound recorded by the people at the event you would set that here. Where the magic actually happens is over here in the freeze frame element here in the middle, in this case the second element. A freeze frame element now allows you to freeze a frame of a video and then apply specific effects to that. For this template we have chosen the freeze frame at 2 seconds as you can see here, so at 2 seconds in the app recorded video it's going to freeze the frame for a duration of 5 seconds as you can see here. You can of course adjust this, for example, if you had a longer overlay that played over the freeze frame. So to reiterate, we have the first app recorded video playing for 2 seconds, then freezes for 5 seconds, and then playing for a further 2 seconds. This gives us a total duration of 9 seconds as you can see over here. Let's now dive into the effects that make this template one of our favorites. I will now explain using the diagram on the left here how the layering works with various effects and in this specific case how we apply these effects to the freeze frame to generate this character interest style template. As you can see on the left here, we have layered the diagram to reflect the layers inside the effect builder with the first layer being AI segmentation. And then the second layer is the overlay. However, each layer can then drill down into its own effects as well. Just to remind you, AI segmentation is what allows you to separate the background from the foreground and then apply specific effects to either the background or the foreground or both. So if we begin with AI segmentation, in this case is what the algorithm will process first, hence the number one here. AI segmentation always splits the video into these two layers, the background and the foreground. For the background we are applying a blur and then on top of that another overlay. For the foreground we are applying the alpha stroke. This is the effect applied to me, the subject. You can see below we have this example of before and after masking which we have used to explain the difference between the two. Essentially what this does is allows you to apply an effect to the masked subject prior to masking or after masking. Why this is important is that in the case of the alpha stroke we want to apply the stroke after masking or else the stroke would not show up in the end result. We go over the use of before masking in the shrink ray template so stick around for that. Let us now jump into the background effects to show you what is happening here. Again, we have these two effect layers which you can see from bottom to top, one being the bottom layer where we first apply the blur and then the overlay being the top layer number two where we apply an overlay. On the diagram, you will see this illustrated nicely so you can get a visual understanding of what is happening. With this blur effect, you can get quite creative by keyframing and animating the blur, which we have done here. Below that, we have an optional mask, which allows you to set where the blur occurs. This is useful to apply the blur around the person and not blur the center. The second layer is an overlay, which, we which will be applied over the blurred background to generate a really cool background behind the subject. I am currently using Safari, which support overlays with alpha, which is why you can see this preview. However, Chrome doesn't support previewing videos with alpha, so if your previews aren't playing here, that is just because the browser isn't able to preview it, but it will still work. I'm going to go ahead and click save. Please remember to save each time you are moving in and out of layers by clicking the save button. 
Lastly, we have the final layer, the overlay, which will be processed after the AI segmentation effects. This layer has my character reveal name Veronique, which is then applied over everything to give you that, fin that very final output. That is how the AI segmentation character reveal comes together and what you can do with it. Remember, this can be done by editing our preset templates or you can create your very own. I'm going to save and we can then move on to the next template. The next template that we will be looking at today is the AI segmentation showcase template, which includes the following features, namely AI segmentation, multi-zoom, slow-mo, boomerang, overlay library element, as well as the hue rotator effect. I'm going to dive right into that. So just select the template from the template library under 360 booths. It is the 360 AI segmentation showcase template. I'm not going to dive too much into the master settings as I have already covered that in the first one. However, I just want to highlight that this one does have an overlay over and just rem reminding you that you can exclude it from the pre-roll and post-roll videos and change the preview video and other settings if needed. This one only has a single recording. With a recording duration of 5 seconds as seen here. So the app will only record for 5 seconds long. And then in the timeline, we have five elements. So in these five video timeline elements, each one will have various effects applied and you will be able to see what each of them are doing by referring to the animation we have here playing on the left of the screen. So for the first app recorded video timeline element, we have a playback range from zero to two seconds and playing back at a normal speed with zero recorded volume. And we are using AI segmentation again to separate the background from the foreground. And then applying the ink effect to only the background and nothing on the subject itself. That is in the first animation here on the left. Then in the second element, It is important that we get a smooth transition from the first element to the second element. Due to this element being reversed, we have to ensure that the playback duration then ends at 2 seconds as it will play from 0 to 2 seconds and then reverse back to 1.3 seconds. Similarly, in the third video timeline element, you will see we are then proceeding from the 1.3 second mark. This will give us a nice smooth transition. We are also applying a speed multiplier of 0.25x, which means it will slow it down to a quarter the speed. This is essentially the slowest level of slow-mo. Let's now dive into the effect here. You will see we are using AI segmentation again to separate the background and foreground, applying the ink effect in this case specifically to the foreground. We have applied it before masking. We don't need to do it after masking as the effect will be within the mask. If you click on this, you will note that the ink effect is selected, but you can layer them and add different effects or select a different effect here. We have quite a few. Then moving along to the third video timeline element. The third one has a playback range continuing on from the 1.3 second mark up until the 4 second mark. Like the other video timeline elements, we are again using AI segmentation to apply the comic effect as you see here specifically to the background this time while leaving the foreground, for example, the subject unchanged. Again, you can change these by editing it from here and selecting a different effect or layering your effects. Then moving on to the fourth timeline element. What we have done on this one is have it play back from four to five seconds at half speed and then apply effects again using AI segmentation. 
We have applied effects to both the background and the foreground. Crosshatch to the background and thermal plus hue rotator to the, to the foreground before masking. Let's go ahead and save and move on to the fifth and final timeline element. For this one, we want that smooth transition. So remembering that the fourth timeline element ended at five seconds. So therefore, this one should also end at five seconds, but then start at any point before and have reverse selected. This will give us a smooth boomerang effect. We are setting the slow-mo using a speed multiplier of 0.5x. You can make it even slower by choosing a 0.25x. As we have done for other timeline elements, we will use AI segmentation and then apply effects to the background. We have first applied the Sin filter. This is similar to the Sin City effect. And then on top of that, we have added an overlay library effect. The overlay library is great for adding simple effects to your videos with a click of a button. Right now we have 41 effects and we are constantly adding to this library. Okay, that's all for this template. I'm going to save and move on to the third template of today's class. Next, we'll be looking at Shrink Ray. The features included in the templates that you'll see here are AI segmentation, frame adjustment, fading using color matrix, using the environment as a background or an uploaded background. That is why there are two examples. One has an uploaded background and the other will use the background from your event environment. You can see these and the differences on screen here. A use case for the events environment template would be the following example of an energy drink. We have taken it in the forest and you could do it using a set designed specifically for brand and build it around the subject shrinking or enlarging. Select template from library is what I'm going to be doing next. And this is actually an opportune time for me to use the new search function here. I've typed in shrink and that will bring up the templates containing that specific keyword search the first one we're looking at is the shrink ray ai one i'm not going to dive too too much into the master settings as i have been through it in the first template let's head over to the recordings tab you will note two recordings here and that is because we are we are telling the app to record two separate recordings. What it will be doing for the first recording is it is going to have a countdown and countdown text asking the guests to please pretend they are shrinking and that will be recording for five seconds long. Then there'll be another countdown where the second recording will start after having applied the countdown text where we ask them to please step out of the frame entirely so that we can only get the venue or environment background recorded and that is recorded for one second long which, which will then be used as the background. Next, in the timeline, we are going to be using the freeze frame element. That will allow us to freeze that recording of the venue or environment background, and we will be doing that at zero seconds for a duration of five seconds. If you want the video to be longer, let's say 10 seconds, then you can just drag the freeze frame duration to 10 seconds. Please note that the selected recording must be, record, must be recording too, as remember this is the environment background that we are, have asked the guests to step out of the frame. Next, let's jump into the effects applied to the freeze frame in order to have the subject shrinking. So what we have now is a background of the venue or environment and we now need to add a recording overlay and then manipulate that recording to shrink the subject. Importantly, we must have recording one selected. 
This is the one where the person is pretending to be shrunk down. Now, now that we have recording one selected, we can apply effects. In order to, manip to manipulate the subject, shrink or move or enlarge, we need to remove the background using AI segmentation. Inside AI segmentation, we need to firstly remove the background from the subject so we have only the subject and then we can move them around. We do this by simply clicking the button Replace Background with Transparency. This is a quick way to isolate the subject. The next thing that is happening is the glitched effect and then a color matrix is applied to the foreground to fade the subject. This all gets applied before masking. Color matrix is an interesting new feature that can be used to manipulate colors as well as the alpha channel or in other words, level of transparency. In this case, we have used the alpha channel to animate the subject's transparency. Note that one refers to 100% opacity and 0.4 to 40% opacity. Let's have a look at what's happening. Next, we need to shrink the person using the frame adjustment, which is what's happening in layer 2. We do a simple keyframe animation to make the subject shrink, to shrink down. You can, however, apply additional keyframes to make the subject grow back to normal size. You can do this by removing 1.5 seconds from the first keyframe and adding 1.5 seconds to the second keyframe, like this. Remember, if you change the duration of your video to 10 seconds, you'll want to extend this animation to happen over 10 seconds and not 5. I'm going to save this one and move on to a similar template where we use an uploaded background instead. For the next template, I'm going to select from the template library again, and then we're going to just search here again for shrink ray examples, and we'll be focusing on the second one. Then again, not touching too much on the master settings here. The recordings tab in this instance specifically only has one recording. Where we're asking the guests to please pretend they are shrinking. That is for a total recording duration of five seconds, as you can see here. And then in the video timeline, we are going to be telling, telling the app to take that app recorded video and then apply these specific effects to it. Again, the layering of the effects, as you can see, is overlay and then recording overlay. So for the first one, we are simply adding a background. You can have a video background here if you like. We have chosen just to have an image. Next, we have applied recording overlay with the same settings as the previous template. So removing the background using AI segmentation and then adding the glitch TV effect and shrinking the person with the frame adjustment. Please note, if we had to apply the glitch effect after masking, this would happen. And that is why it is important to take note of whether you should apply an effect before or after masking. Let's go ahead and save and then move on to our last template, the Thermalator. Last but not least, we will be looking at the Thermaltator. The features included in this template here are our AI segmentation, frame adjustment, soundtrack, and of course the hue plus thermal effect, and then an uploaded background. 
Let's dive right into how this is created and how you can do this from your own template builder as well. So I'm going to select the template from the template library. And I'm going to use the search function over here again because it is just so convenient. I'm going to type in thermal and here we have it, the thermal data template that we'll be going through now. This is the very last one, so I'm not going to dive too much into the master settings yet again. However, this one we did mention will include a soundtrack. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go through how to upload this soundtrack over here so you can see how easily that is done. Something to note, if you want the music playing while your guests are recording a 360 booth video for example, you can just click the play preview while recording and it will play on the iPad or iPhone while you are recording the video. Next, let's head over to the recordings tab. This is just a single recording that we are asking the app to record at a recording duration of 5 seconds. Lastly, in the timeline we have a single app recorded element where we are going to apply various recording overlays to produce the output you saw in the preview. I'm going to go through it with you in a diagram as well, so I'm going to pull that up and then we can dive into it. Okay, now that we have the diagram up here, I'm going to go through the layering of the effects with you so you can see how this is all applied and how it comes together. So on the left hand side here, you will see the original video with the subject here. And what we are doing firstly is we're going to apply an overlay. Which is just an uploaded animated background. This is going to be applied to the entire frame and form the background of this template. The next layer applied on top of that will be the first of three recording overlays. These overlays are separate recordings where we will remove the background using AI segmentation and then manipulate them using the frame adjustment. A similar concept to the previous template. A recording overlay allows the app recorded video to be applied as an overlay on top of the background. So let's click into the first recording overlay and see what is being applied. So if we head over to the effects tab you will see we have AI segmentation being applied first and then a frame adjustment. The AI segmentation is used again to simply remove the background, leaving only the subject. We want to shrink the person down so that they are more centered in the frame and look like they are dancing on the moving platform. So we need to use the frame adjustment to do that. You will see all we have done here is adjust the size from 1280 down to 950 pixels for both the width and height and then center the image using the X and Y axis. That is just an example of how you can make a change. Please note, when using this template at an event, you want to capture the person's full body or you will shrink them down and they will be cut off. Now let's head over to the third layer. Here we again have AI segmentation to remove the background, but now we will add a thermal and hue effect to the foreground before masking. This will give us the subject with the effects like this. Then if we click on the frame adjustment, we can see how we then move the subject left and then right in the, in the last recording overlay. So here you will see we have moved the subject to the right and if I go to the final recording overlay the effects are the same as the second, this time we have simply moved the subject over to the right. Or 
all of these effects will then will then all come together with the soundtrack as you have seen in the preview video to produce an awesome TikTok like video. And yes, let's hit save and we're done. Thank you very much again for joining us. We hope that you have learned a lot from this masterclass. We will now be opening Q&A with myself and the rest of the team. So click on the questions tab in the bottom right of the screen and start asking questions. Also, there is an option to upvote questions and we will address the questions with the most upvotes first. So have a look at questions posed by other people and upvote if you think they are, they are important.